couple months ago now, I modded this Cube i7 stylus to a new Wi-Fi chip. Essentially what I did is replace the internal, like a little module uh, that's soldered to the motherboard. I desoldered that. It's a module that is connected uh, internally via an internal USB bus. I routed cables across uh, the tablet and I put a uh, Wi-Fi stick right at the top near the antenna. That is all well and good, but unfortunately that Wi-Fi stick that I replaced it with does not have Bluetooth. And that means that, for instance, when I want to use my headset, I have to use this RF dongle, which takes up uh, an entire USB port. And that's that's quite inconvenient. Uh, I, would, I would really like for Bluetooth to return in my tablet. Unfortunately for that idea, I got another problem, which is like I can do another uh, mod. I can uh, put in something like this uh, Bluetooth USB stick, but there are no USB ports left anymore. So how do I fix that? Because obviously there is not nearly enough room in the like the, the slim profile of this tablet to fit an entire USB hub, right? Well, as I actually hinted in uh, one of the comment sections for the previous Cube i7 videos, uh, I intend to change that space issue. This is, this is what I call my USB Nano Hub, which is a project I've been wanting to do for a very long time. <clears throat> it's essentially a USB hub chip with just solder connections well, and some supporting circuitry, obviously, in a PCB as small as I can possibly get it. As you can see, it's about the size of a thumbnail. So it's uh, uh, 12 by 10 millimeters. And it's really just a 1 to 2 port USB hub. Very simple. It's based on the SMSC USB 2412 uh, USB hub chip. It's a very convenient low configuration chip. So here we have the internals. Uh, this is the USB stick. And I will be adding this uh, Bluetooth USB stick as well. And probably be putting the nano hub around here and putting some cables like over here to this USB stick. I've now soldered two of the wires to the nano hub and I'll be attaching the Bluetooth module on this end. I was kind of mangling this uh, nano hub during assembly, so I decided to assemble a new nano hub uh, just so it looks a bit nicer for presentation. It was getting like um, black spots. Uh, that was my, the previous nano hub was my first nano hub and I had um, attached a couple of wires before to look at the USB signal integrity. So that made it kind of manky. So this is an actual new one. And just to like clearly show how it works, it's a one to two port hub. One goes to the Wi-Fi card and the other wire you can see goes all the way here to a Bluetooth module. This is just a generic Bluetooth USB stick. And here's the entire assembly taped into the tablet. Uh, as you can see, it's, it is actually quite important. Oh, actually this 
should be taped behind the webcam, otherwise I'm gonna have trouble there. So it's pretty important to uh, tape everything down. As I found out the last time that I uh, did this, if you don't make sure that everything's compacted down, uh, wires can like kind of get loose, a little bulge on the outside, and you can break some of the plastic clips that the backside is uh, mounted to. So pretty important to do that. Uh, and you can just use, this is regular old um, household tape. I've used some Kapton tape on this. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure that if you're using household tape, it has the tendency to uh, develop high voltages when you uh, remove it from the roll. So make sure either your hands are pretty wet, sweaty, uh, or humidity is high in general. So uh, that charge is dissipated really quickly because it can damage stuff. So uh, I assembled the um, tablet and as you can see here, uh, maybe if you zoom in on the video, hope it's sharp. Uh, there's a Bluetooth um, adapter in here and there is uh, my TP-Link wireless USB adapter. So I now have full functionality back again. Now some of you have asked previously if I'm going to try to do the right hand side USB port hack. So uh, somebody on a Russian forum has built, I think it's two USB ports on this side which is immensely helpful because obviously well the the tablet has two USB ports on the like on the back of the um here you can see there are two USB ports here on the dock which help a lot um when it's docked like this so you can see here uh I've got my screen there I've actually got the USB hub in the screen connected up to the tablet and that gives me a couple of extra USB ports to use as I please. Now that is very useful. Unfortunately, so the tablet itself only has this um, this micro USB 3.0, oh, excuse me, this USB 3.0 thing on here that you need a cable for to actually make it a normal USB port. So um, I am really thinking about it doing the the hack but unfortunately that hack contrary to the wireless hacks uh, requires me to modify the casing as well and it's a very thin aluminum shell around the back of the uh, tablet i don't know if it's going to be very pretty if i do that so i might just read up on how to how to best do that before i attempt it but yeah uh, that plus a couple of uh, nano hubs will enable this tablet to be, I think like the best tablet you can find as far as connectivity goes. Uh, so it would be very nice for sure. Now, as with most things that I think might be handy for other people, I'm also selling the nano hub. Uh, as you can see here, I made a small batch. <laughs> uh, they come in panels of six. These are actually five by five centimeter uh, the, the cheap Chinese boards, you can get five by five centimeters, 10 for $10. I was amazed that they allowed me to panel up six individual boards just on one board without charging anything extra. So that's, that's kind of fun. I'm, um, I'm selling these on Tindy. The link might not yet be up. Uh, if you really want one, you can also just message me. Uh, it's kind of a super niche thing. I don't think there's much but uh, I mean, for the people that need it, as far as I know, there's no smaller USB hub around. So uh, kind of cool thing, right? Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as a bonus clip, I will play you my encounter with a real life Pokemon. See you next time. Hehehehe Hmm Wah Hehehehe 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 Heh